Okay, tonight's ingredients. We're going to be using some sliced red capsicum, some sliced red onion, some fresh jalapenos, a mix of uh, mozzarella cheese and tasty cheese. And the star ingredient tonight is going to be leftover cold chips and what's left over of a mixed halal snack pack. Um, without the meat, you can still do everything I'm going to be doing. Because I'm going to reconstitute the chips. I'm going to change all this into, hopefully, a smack, smack, smashing meal. Uh, I've never done this before, so we'll see how it turns out. Good luck to all of us. Okay, I've placed the cold fries into a uh, oven pan, which has been uh, sprayed with a little bit of oil. I'm going to put them into the oven at about 180 degrees Celsius for the next 30 minutes or so. And then I'll take it from there with the next thing, um, steps. Now into a hot pan, lightly oiled. I'm going to throw my onions. I'm going to start them off. So really what we're doing is making dirty fries. Or loaded fries or whatever else you want. The fries are in the oven cooking away. They'll be in there about 15 minutes. So I need to start this. In my red section, put this out. Until I get nice and soft. And then I throw in my jalapeno. Hey, opinions. Now, obviously, you're going to have to put all this together. You can use whatever you want, but I'm just having a bit of fun here. I'm going to get this nice and sort of to the point of tenderness. And once they're tender, we'll take the next step from there. Now, as you can see, about five minutes later, everything's looking nice and soft. And now I'm going to add my meat. I want to get this nice and warm through. But like I said at the beginning, if you want to make it vegetarian, you're going to have to add meat. And I'm just going to heat this through so it gets nice and warm, and then get ready for the next, for the last step. Okay, now the meat's mixed well through. It's nice and warm. I've pulled the chips out of the oven. They've been in there about 20 minutes. And then this will go straight over the top. And then I'm going to pour the cheese over the top. Like I said, just a bit of mozzarella, some tasty, some if you want to use cheddar, whatever you want. Flatten that out. And then back into the oven for another 10 minutes. Okay, so 30 minutes, well, 10 minutes or 8 minutes altogether, and it's been in the oven, and now, sounds nice and crispy, let's try one, I've got some ketchup and mayonnaise, bon appetit everyone, good way to use your chips, and leftovers.